something's not right, but it seems familiar somehow. I remember this endless cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. Delilah was born a pawn, but now she's got the throne. Fifteen years ago, the assassin Dow could have warned you about her if you'd bothered to ask. But you were too busy for questions. Times have changed, Corvo. And you haven't been watching the dark corners of the world. Maybe living in a palace has made you soft. What happens when you push a man farther than he ever thought he could go? Does he snap? And what happens when he tries to go home? Maybe you'll finally learn what it feels like to kill an Empress. Now I could have told you about that, too. I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. Never thought I'd be here again. Feels as good as I remember. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. I've been here before. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. Jessamine's sister, bearing the outsider's mark. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition. Art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Maybe I got lazy. Fell asleep at my post. Somehow, everything I love is at risk. Again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn, and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. 
and I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. I've had an empress die in my arms, and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the Isles, following the trail of a monstrous killer? What would that 18-year-old think of me now? Old man, this is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. All right, you've explained part of it. What were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes. The hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the Crown Killer. Maybe the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. I can, I can see, see my mother. She's, She's almost, almost as secretive as you. you. Mortimer Ramsey, the entitled son of entitled parents. The Duke's coup relied on a weasel like you. Before I leave Sirkonos, Duke Luca Abel and I are going to meet face to face, and he'll pay for all this. Delilah's powerful. How is it possible I haven't crossed her path in all these years? Adermeyer Institute's been there for a long time, but Hypatia wasn't around when I lived in Karnaka. As assassins go, the Crown Killer was messy. Vulgar. The Duke wanted people afraid. 
Sokolov always seemed ageless. Not now. With that watchtower, the only way to get to Adermeyer is through the carriage station. Sokolov's style, it's Delilah. I miss listening to old Anton Sokolov and his travel stories. He even explored Pandisia. seems so far away. I'll come back soon, Emily. I promise. The Jewel of the South. My homeland.
Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more time, old friend. I'd take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland, and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermeyer. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. That's Adermeyer in the distance. of the confiscation? Yeah, we pass it along to another ship at a discount. Then we all split the take. Just don't forget about me. see any signs of Feral. He seems to be late. Or maybe we're early. He should be here, with the Red Shark. This is unacceptable. I have a very tight schedule. Don't worry, you'll make it eventually. If not today, then tomorrow. Is that a joke? Santiago Fisheries have a reputation to maintain. We have clients all over the Isles. Do I need to remind you that fish is a delicate cargo? We can't afford any delays. Well, it's fermented red shark, which is a nice way of saying it's fish that's already gone bad. You can just tell your clients that here in Karnaka, we like it very fermented. Unacceptable. Farrell is going to pay for this. Until I draw on a gold somewhere. There ain't enough coins in the world. I should get a longer break. Hello there. My bad feet. You're not I from here, am I right? Somewhere. Welcome to Karnaka then. Careful with that. I've sword. been out of ice for two weeks now. Like Customers don't care much for warm lemonade. <laughs> what well, are you covering your face for? Familiar thought I had a few coins on me. I don't feel safe. What is wrong? Hey! First I'll yell, then I'll run. You know, to one of the others. You wanna buy one? Sure. Not this time. Hey, are you coming tonight? Playing dice tonight. You in?
time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. Wasn't his fault, Maya. I'm sorry, every now and then one of those Grand Guard bastards pulls a stunt like that. It's getting worse. But I might be able to help you out. We're listening. There's a stack of goods that no one's claimed in one of the holding warehouses. I happen to know that no one's gonna claim it ever, because it was dropped from a boat, loading up for Freightport. It's good stuff. Spices and dried fish. Maybe worth more than what you lost. That's a good deal, Maya. Oh, thank you, Ramus. All right. It's still not fair than just taking what was ours, but we appreciate what you're offering. If it's like you say, and we can find buyers, then it'll get us through the next month. Good, good. Look, I wish I could have stopped him. Just meet me here again tomorrow, okay? Same time. He'll be here. Halfway up, a cable broke and we lost 11 workers. They never even made it into the mine. Those cables weren't made to carry so many people. Pack enough of them in, even kids, and it adds up. After that, the sickness spread through the crew bunkhouses. That woman from Adermeyer, Alexandria Hypatia, she used to treat the workers, but she doesn't that come was around lunch, anymore. And I'm a so filthy all this blood means that we need more workers. That's all I'm gonna say about it. There are always people coming to Sirkonos looking for a better life. We'll get them into the mines, That'll if I have like to yesterday. club them over the head myself. First to admit, but I'm scared. And there. I'm scared. Careful with that sword. An underground market. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. If you want to get past that wall of light, I've heard people sneaking through this blood fly infested apartment. Going through there will get you to the other side of that Grand Guard checkpoint. Want to know why people are leaving Karnaka? Because the city is not safe to live in anymore. Duke is drunk half the time, and, and if the howlers don't rob you, he gets shaken down by the Grand Guard. 
There's garbage in the streets. And blood flies in half the abandoned buildings. This, this city has consumption. And no one with half a wit wants to be buried with it. Let's hope you never need help. Hey, come here. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and that mask tells me you're someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Want to help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry. He's already dead. You want me to bring you a corpse? What's the story there? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it, then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll consider it. This is Paolo's second in command, Mindy Blanchard. Early in life, she was someone else. Early in life, she felt like she'd been born into the wrong life. So, she set about making it right. A new customer with coin, I bet. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. Just remember to move slowly, and don't get too close to the nests. We don't even know if the people inside had any money. We just know they're dead, and the place is infested with blood flies. Carl, going through there puts us on the other side of the wall of light. If you want out of the city as bad as I do, this is our chance. No. More likely we all get stung to death. Then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. Damn it, Carl. All right, but don't turn on each other. We'll find another way to make the coin and another way to get past the wall of light. It's infested, all right. We used to throw rocks at these nests when I was young. Just go slow and mind the distance. Easy.
Supposed to fester like that. Leave this city. Oh, the bus is all right. This. I'm a wanted man again. Welcome home. Please, you gave me no choice. Please, it's too late for that, Rapallo. Time of the rat plague. We're conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Listen, I only need This to... area is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. Somebody's seen Poison something. Now we're all on rigorous. edge. Squeezes the My heart can't sponge. take much more of this. Rinsing impurities from the mind and body. <laughs> Dig deep, brother. Remember that the profane seeks to hide itself. You know not the mind of the deviant, for their thoughts are drowned in dark waters. city once, before the dude began choking the life out of the place, before the crown killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here, 
And I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge. Or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. Some old man screamed and blurred like one of them was the last woman in the aisles. Tried to throw her a bouquet of wild mimosas. Had to drag him away. More interested in the cleanup detail. Anyone been assigned yet to cart off the bodies? Sometimes they're still wearing watches. I told her, if you want my advice, just pay the fine and be done. Never occurred to me. Then the lieutenant comes back. I'll ask if she needs a couple of volunteers. Good man. That way we can get them someplace private. Maybe even look for silver fillings. That takes time. Rust. Trouble sleeping again last night. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures. Some small trinkets and bone. And a few coins. Hello, hello, welcome. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the music boxes at each enclave. Here in the city, for instance. Instead, they're made in a few locations, kept from us, and shipped out. It seems dangerous. Far worse to have the knowledge and construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The techniques, if applied by anyone but the most faithful, resolute overseers, would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish if they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. 
Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. Or even the uh. <laughs> My mother was so devout, the strictures gave her comfort. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. That is familiar. Like the fowl, sheep, the ox, and fish from the cold ocean. Those who taste the flesh of the rat risk drifting through the void for all the remaining hours of all the remaining years until the. Swallowed itself by the void, and all manner of things are destroyed. Set a table for your family that will. What's he going on about? Beats me. Half the shit they say makes no sense. Is that the nine strictures? Dumbass. It's only seven. Nine seven. What's the difference? It's all dog shit about the void and the outsider and living a humble life. Nothing I give a rat's ass about. This heretic's body is important, even though I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the Vice Overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe Overseer Kendana. Until then, we stay where we are. Won't the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka.
That's Mindy Blanchard. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. rails are electrified. said you had a trick for getting closer to Adamire. I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adamire. All right then. This is goodbye. the voice of the answer.
Duties. Forget about that kiss. Mm -hmm. That kiss. Huh? <clears throat> of course I can read. What's he think? I'm stupid? I know all my letters and then some. So many people trying to get away from Karnaka now. But where are you gonna go? There's money here. Even if it's there. Is there some kind of masquerade going on? And we lived in distress. A coon, a coon. Did we take our guests out for mushroom gathering? Help me in. <sighs> If only truth and justice could really be weighed on scales. Ahem. No, I don't think so. What is it to you? Meyer Station. This should take me out to the Institute. That's it. The electricity is off. Adamire is closed to the public. We'll have to try again. We have to see Dr. Hypatia. They don't let anyone see her anymore. Not even people who need urgent treatment. If we tell them that we represent Lucia Pastor and the Miner's Family Committee, they can't refuse us. Hundreds of miners are counting on us. Hundreds of children coughing dust and fading a little more each day. In the past, the good doctor always cared for them. She did, and I worry that it got her in trouble. If we lose Hypatia's support, then there's no one left on our side. Soldiers, that's to avoid. How many more hours of this? Every coin I pick up brings me closer to making things right again.
This must be the alchemist's apartment, Alexandria Hypatia. So much misery under tyrants like the Duke. More corpses, more blood flies. I spend less and less time here at my apartment, but my work at Atomire demands it. After the horrible failures of my first serum, I'm more determined than ever to help the miners. It's not my say how hard the Duke and his cronies drive the workers, but until he sees reason, I'll do what I can to make their lives better and to provide comfort to their families. It's my obsession, this work, and the impact it will have on the least privileged people in Karnaka. Studying the original plague elixirs. I'm close to something. When I find Hypatia, I'll see what she knows about the Crown Killer. Assertion. Shooting dice or chasing the ladybirds? Crone's hand? Are you kidding? It's all howlers in there. Oh, so sure don't wear your good. uniform. Just they keep good whiskeys there. They even stock old Dunwalls. Ah, oh, man. Let me know next time you go.